Hello, welcome to the Pure Power Post Show. My name is David Opinko. My guest at this time, Sydney Steele of the One World Empire. Uh, so, Sydney, um, do you think it was fair to have to face massive damage in tonight's opening match to determine your spot in the gauntlet for the gold? What kind of question is that? What do you mean, do you think, do I think it was fair to have to face massive damage? Fight for your spot? I had to face off against some sort of deranged animal in the first part of the gauntlet for the gold. That is disgusting. Massive Damage came to the ring with a steel chair hoping to end my career. And just so everybody's on the same page, that's the same Massive Damage who gave me a pile driver onto a steel chair. So what exactly is your beef with the Tattoo Terminators? Because it seems to be the recurring theme that uh, the One World Empire has been attacking them constantly in the last few months. Our beef with the Tattoo Terminators is the fact that November at a night to remember should have been our night. It should have ended with the One World Empire standing tall over Pure Power Wrestling. And what did the Tattoo Terminators do? They came out and stuck their noses where they didn't belong. Our beef with the Tattoo Terminators is that Pure Power Wrestling simply isn't big enough for the One World Empire and the Tattoo Terminators, and it's time to take them out. So what's next for Sydney Steele and the One World Empire? First, Sydney Steele is going to get his revenge on massive damage. Then, Sydney Steele is going to get his revenge on Jack Hammer, who gave me a lariat that damn near broke my neck tonight. I'm going to take both of them out, and then... There's no one else standing in our way. One World Empire is taking over Pure Power Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, Sydney Steele.